True cores, true heading. Magnetic cores, magnetic heading. Are you confused here? Very good. Stay tuned. Hey pilots and aviation lovers, welcome to our channel where we motivate and inspire future aviators. My name is Kanu, you're watching Nima Pilot, the pride of Liberia. All right guys, um, last year, all of the video I've been, I was posting was all about the fundamental of instructing. Uh, it's been a while since I posted any video. Um, as you all know, they are, coronavirus pandemic hit and everything was shut down. As you can see, my goal last year was to get my uh, flight instructor certificate uh, by April the 1st, 2020. Today, April the 6th, 2021, a little bit uh, over a year ago, with the pandemic, flight school was shut down and um, I lay aside flying for a long, long time and got a job and uh, that is why I haven't been posting, but now I'm easing back into it and I'm back with more video. So hopefully you guys will be seeing a lot of video popping up. All right, and sorry for the uh, long length of uh, 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 not posting a video, but that is why. Uh, the practical st uh, test standard PTS is divided into three sessions. Okay, the first part was uh, fundamental of instructing. The second part is uh, technical subject area. And the third part is mostly, is pretty much the maneuvers. Uh, last year we went through the uh, first part of the PTS, practical test standard for CFI. Uh, we're done with that. Now we're back and we will be starting on the technical subject area and Today's video will be a task in uh, the uh, technical subject area called uh, uh, navigation and flight planning. So that is our topic for today. And this task is very long. Navigation and flight planning is very long. So I'm going to take this whole task and break it into three or four parts. So for today's video, we will be focusing only on the terms, okay? These terms, we got to learn them. We got to know them. So that when in the future, when we're talking about them, you, you will not be lost, you will not be confused. So these terms are very important, okay? So in any, doing any part of the video, when you feel like you missed something, pause it, rewind it. And you, if you still miss it, Leave the comment below. We are a community. Uh, I can get back to you with your question. I can get back with the answer or someone in the community can, you know, answer you. So too much of talking. Let's get to the terms. Even before we get to the terms, there are a couple of uh, words I wrote in blue and this I wrote, uh, I circle it. I want us to pay close attention to it. I want to go over this before we get into uh, learning these terms. On Earth, we have two North. We have magnetic North. We have true North. Those are the two North, magnetic North and uh, true North. Magnetic North is always moving, constantly moving, okay? True north is stationary, never move. And it's where all of the uh, latitude meets in the middle of the earth. Depending on what part, of, what part of the earth you find yourself, you can be closer to magnetic north or true north. At this current time, when I look it up, true north is somewhere over Canada. Why are these very important? we got to know. In the aircraft, there is uh, an instrument we use to navigate. Way, way before any of this fancy GPS, this instrument was used by an earlier aviator to navigate. And this instrument is called a magnetic compass. Now, what you need to know about magnetic compass is 
magnetic compass is always pointing to magnetic north. As a VFR pilot, we use this, what is called a sessional chart. Sessional chart is pretty much our roadmap from the air, okay? And we have a bunch of airports on this sessional chart. Aviation sessional chart use true north for their orientation, okay? The instrument you use in the aircraft to navigate is pointing you to magnetic north, which is not at the same location as true north. So this is very important that we understand. Our sessional chart uses true north for orientation. The uh, magnetic compass in the aircraft is always pointing not to true north, but is always pointing to magnetic north. Now, see this word I circle here in, in blue? Variation. Variation is the angular difference, the distance between true north and magnetic north. Okay? All of this will come, it will make sense when we, when we go into the flight plan. I just want us, us to go over these so that when we get to these terms, you won't get confused. Remember, we have two, uh, two types of north. We have magnetic north and we have true north. And the difference, the angular difference between this and this is called variation. And depending on what part of the earth you find yourself, this variation could be six uh, degree, seven degree, 10 degree, 15 degree, okay? So with that being said, let's get to the first terms on this uh, list. Let me, can you see? Yeah, okay. The first terms on this list is what? It's our true course. What is our true course? Our true course is our desired direction of flight. Like I said, we have so many airport, we have airports listed on this sessional chart. You want to come from, fly from airport A to airport B. You take your sessional chart, take your router, and draw a, a straight line from point A to point B. That is your desired uh, direction of flight. That is where you want to go. That is the route you want to fly. So that is your true course. The line you draw from point A to point B here is, is called your true course. Now your true heading. Oh, we have true course. Again, true heading. Your true heading is at, um, at that moment wherever the nose of your aircraft is pointing, it is your true heading. Your true heading is not necessary, your true course, your magnetic course. What is my magnetic course? My magnetic course is my true course corrected for magnetic variation. Okay, that is what I wanted us to go over this term this, 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 and this before. So your magnetic course is your true course corrected for magnetic variation. And again, when we get to the uh, uh, flight planning portion of it, we are going to see what exactly we are talking about. We come to magnetic heading. What is our magnetic heading? Hmm, your magnetic heading it is your magnetic course corrected for wing. When we flying, <clears throat> not all the time you're going to have tailwind or headwind. In most cases, you have crosswind, and you have to correct for that crosswind. So your magnetic heading take into consideration your, your magnetic course corrected for the wing. So your magnetic heading, you you've built in your wind correction. All right, your compass heading. Compass heading is the heading you read off of your magnetic compass. We come to deviation. What is deviation? What is a deviation? Deviation now is 
uh, magnetic compass error that is result from magnetic uh, uh, interference or metal installed in the aircraft. And this, um, always when you see your magnetic compass in the aircraft, there will be a card that correct for this deviation. Now we'll go to our next term, our standard pressure. In aviation, we use all of our measurement. Pressure measurement is from mean sea level. On a standard day, our sea level pressure is 29.92, 2 nanonanotube. That is, that is our standard pressure on the normal day. That is the weight of this pressure, 29 nanotube inches mercury. On a standard day, also our temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. Again, I said Celsius, not Fahrenheit. If you want to convert that to Fahrenheit, it will be 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Your standard pressure on a standard day is 2 nanotube uh, inches mercury. On the standard day, your temperature is 29, uh, 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 temperature is 15 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, so about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, guys, uh, that is the terms that we want to cover for today's, in today's video. So let's briefly go over it. We, on Earth, we have two types of north. We have magnetic north, we have true north. Magnetic north is always moving and true north is stationary. The angular difference, the angle difference between the distance between true north, a uh, true north and magnetic magnetic north is called variation. Our compass in our aircraft is always pointing to our magnetic north, but this sectional uses true north for its orientation. True course is your direction, your desired direction of flight as measure on this uh, section of chart, okay? True heading, at that moment, whatever your aircraft knows is pointing, that is your true heading. Magnetic course, magnetic course is your true course corrected for a magnetic variation. Magnetic heading, magnetic heading is your magnetic course correct for, corrected for wind, okay? And then your compass heading pretty much is the heading you're reading off of your magnetic compass. Deviation uh, is the result of uh, magnetic interference or uh, metal installed in the aircraft. On a standard day, at sea level, our pressure, when you weigh your pressure on a standard day, at the sea level, it's supposed to weigh 29.92 inches mercury. On a standard day, our temperature or sea, uh, at sea level should be 15, 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. If you use Fahrenheit in your country or Celsius will be 15 degrees. In aviation, we doesn't matter what country you find yourself, everything is given in uh, this. You have to convert it. Is giving Celsius. You have to convert it. This, that, that is our international aviation language so that we are, are all on the same page. All right, guys, that's, that is about it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. But until next time, stay safe, stay current, stay proficient. Enjoy flying and always remember to keep the blue sky up. Peace.